Hey y'all, it's Mrs. Rains again. Okay, I'm still a mess. If you saw my last video that's uploading currently, I know. So save the comments. I know, I got dark circles. My face is messed up. My hair ain't right. Just get it out your system. I already know that part. Anyway, I have a special guest with me. Yeah. She doesn't talk much. She a little bougie. Anyhow, I was coming to do you to talk to you about a box I got in the mail today. Yay. I ordered something from Elevate Styles like literally two days ago and it's already here. Like I'm pretty sure I ordered it on Friday night and today is Monday, y'all, and it's already here. So I wanted to do an unboxing to show you what I got. Hopefully everything is in this neat little package. And this is just a regular shipping. I didn't do anything extra about it, nothing. This is their regular shipping. So this is the box. Just your regular priority mail box. I don't know if they drop ship or what it is or if it comes directly from them. But whatever they're doing, um, it's working for them. Yes. Okay. Anyway, it doesn't matter that you make it regular in my house. When people need stuff, they need stuff. So, okay. Um, one thing I got was just something I ran out of that I wanted to get more of, which was just some oil. Mm. They wrap things up so good. Do you see this? There was no hope of that breaking. Um, anyway, it's just African Pride hair and scalp and skin oil. And this is what it looks like. And um, I just like this one. I got this one before from... I don't know if it was a dollar store or what, but the place where I got it from, I couldn't remember. And then I've been looking for it and not been able to find it. So I ordered it online. And um, even my hair, beauty supply stores don't carry this. So I'm surprised by that. But they have African something, but it's just not African pride. And I like this one because of the ingredients. It's all like really good stuff. So yeah, hair, scalp, and skin oil. I will put that all over this dusty fro. Oh, y'all, yeah, I haven't even talked to y'all about my hair, but look at it. It's, like, dry right now because I need to wash it and cornrow it, but, yeah. That's what it's looking like. And then, just on a whim, of course, well, I can tell you guys, you sent me a shipping receipt. But, yeah, on a whim, I also picked up some lashes. And just these. They're called Glam Eye. And they're allegedly Remy. And this is number Glam number 62. Allegedly 100% human Remy hair. I don't know. I just figured I'd give them a try to see if they're any different or last any longer than the regular lashes. But that's, I got those. And then, coup de gras, I picked up a wig. Yay! And it's called Miko. And she's in a number two. And it's not the lady on the picture. It's not that wig. This one is a curly view that I picked up to kind of somewhat mimic my fro but now my hair is looking like a four on the ends and normally it looks darker to me i guess when i have oil or something in it, but we're gonna make this work but i'm gonna open it up and put this on top of miss bougie over here and we're gonna see what we got going on the way i found this wig i was actually on google and i think i just googled you know best curly wig or something like that of course i got a bunch of lace fronts and different things but that's not really what I was looking for. I was looking for a full coverage wig to wear. And this is what I picked up. Now, mind you, it's like a little bit like a hair helmet and mat it down. But, you know, this can be pulled out. And then the front, obviously, I can pull some forward like bangs. But I'm, she's looking a little bit slick, Rick. Or a little bit, um, I'm sorry, not slick, Rick, Rick James. She's looking a little bit Rick James, but I'm going to try to make it work. I'm not going to pull at it too much because I don't want it to get really big on me. But I've seen other people do this wig online because after I found it on Google, I actually looked on YouTube, of course, and found a few people who had done this wig a long time ago. So I know I'm 150 years late on this wig, but I still want to give it a try. Because I want to see, I really want to get used to wearing my own hair big curly and natural and the way to for me to get to that point is to 
try it out, essentially. Um, before I start loading my hair with product and everything, I wanted to try it on my wig. So yeah, this is she. You can already kind of get an idea of the shape. Um, that'll probably be off to the side or off to the front like veins. And I'm probably going to pull some of my hair out in the front to cover up this rough edge. Because I, you know how I like it. I don't know if you know this, but I guess I'm going to just tell you. When I wear my own hair, I like to clip the one side to the back, real 80s style. So I have to see if that's what I'm going to end up with. And um, yeah, that's what it looks like. I am going to put it on the wig head and leave it there for a couple of days just so the like, uh, hair helmet, that whole packaging situation, it can kind of just acclimate to being out in the open and not be stuck like that. But yeah, just so I can um, go over it with you. It's by Vanessa Fifth Avenue. The name again is Miko, and a number two, and it's a full cap. Full cap on the inside. It does have the strap, bra strap type closures, and there are no combs. There is not even one comb in this wig. Like, literally, nothing. The construction is real strong and durable, though, I can say that. But it's not really, this is not a wig that's intended to be used as a half wig either because this front edge is very thick. Like you would not be able to disguise that front edge. It's not like flat how half wigs are normally supposed to be. So it's definitely supposed to be a full cap wig. And what I do like though is if you look, it's like freestyle at the top. So I mean, although there's no scalp or anything, but it doesn't look wiggish at the top because the hair is kind of freestyle, free flowing from the middle. So no, you will not be parting this wig, not parting the wig itself. You could probably part some of your own hair. And the good thing is it is already kind of layered. So like even when I do style this, I should not have to um, do much to it. I am going to try to trim it a little bit maybe because it's a little obvious that, you know, it's going to be a long time before my hair is this long. But, I mean, I don't know that that's a prerequisite. But, like, even right now, like, where this wig is falling on the mannequin head, it's past the neck. And right now, my natural hair is probably, like, when I wear it down, it's probably just at my neck. So, I think I'd be taking myself too far too fast if I leave it too long. But I'm going to try it out and see. Um, I'm going to try to not pull on it too much. I keep saying that, but then I keep wanting to touch the curls. But the hair is really soft for it to be a synthetic. It is Connectalon, so basically the same kind of hair I use to make my budget bun or the same type of hair you use to like do cornrows or something. It's the same stuff. And it's like the premium best synthetic fibers. It's already shedding some. Just from out of the package, I got, you know, I don't know if you can see, but I got some shedding here. And, um, yeah. But uh, I'm hoping to get this styled and wear this for the weekend coming up so I'm gonna have to wash and deep condition my own hair I am gonna braid it I'm gonna moisturize it braid it and seal it with this oil right here and then I'm just gonna put um, a satin scarf on it to sleep in at night and then during the day I'll just put a wig cap on and wear Nico but right now I'm just gonna leave her on the wig head so she can like I said get acclimated so she can get used to living in Maryland, you know. We all have to get used to that, including me. So, yeah. Hopefully all the loose hairs will fall by then, and she'll be gorgeous when I put her on. And so, yeah. I really like this curl pattern, too. Nice and large curls is what I was looking for. This is exactly what I was looking for. So let me put Miko down. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to show you what I got. That's all I got. It wasn't a big like, haul or anything. But I wanted to show you what I got from Elevate Styles. I am not affiliated with them. I'm going to put that in the description box. I'm not affiliated with them. I did not get these items for free. I paid for these items. All three items altogether cost me less than 40 bucks, including shipping. So, not bad for what I was looking for. And, um, to be honest, I was not able to find a curly weight that I like in my beauty supply. So, wonderful. I'm happy with the shipping. They did a great job. Highly recommend. So anyway, hope you got it ahead of all you do. And I will come at you with Miko as soon as I can. So talk to y'all later.